everyone, Leslie Cornwell, Midwifery Business Consultation. Um, I wanted to talk today about a very exciting concept, why we become midwives. I think it's really important for us to get back to the roots of why we originally wanted to become midwives, why we're pursuing the midwifery career, what about you, the profession, your vision of what it would look like has made you go the direction of becoming a midwife. I can tell you for myself, being 16, knowing I wanted to empower women, it made the most sense to me of an advocacy role where they're in their most vulnerable and exciting time of their life that I can advocate for the best birth experience possible. I knew at the core of me, it was about woman empowerment. It was about advocating for equal rights. It was about advocating for us to have the ultimate potential in life, not based on barriers and challenges that are in front of us. And so as I've evolved and gotten older and realized what my strengths are, my love is I've evolved from being a midwife more at the clinical bedside role catching babies to a midwife of the midwives. I want to see more midwifery practices. I want to see more options and services accessing midwifery care. I found in time me being up at two in the morning catching babies, I'm good at it, but it's not my big strength. It's not my personality's driver. I am a big visionary, go-getter, ambitious type of person. And so I want to dream where I can change the masses, not just one woman's birth experience, but how can I change an entire society's birth experiences? How can I change our world's perception of opportunities to access to high quality care? And so as time has went on, my, my vision and my morphing of being a midwife had changed, but still the core of why I became a midwife never did. And so I think that's always important as we graduate and sometimes we don't get the job we exactly wanted. We envisioned this utopia Ina May midwifery world we were going to practice in and then the reality sits in, especially in the medical system, of what a traditional midwife practices as. I want people to step back and look at what type of midwife do you want to be? If you're in a current situation that you don't like, think about, is this just a band-aid? Is this a stepping stone until I can be that midwife? Or it's, this is the new norm. You have to step back and say, I do have choices. You always have choices to be the midwife you want to be. Um, some people have to move to become that. Some people have to start their own private practices to become the midwife they want to be. They, they have to quit and find another job somewhere else. But always thinking about you have choices. I know there's so many challenges now with midwives feeling that cornered pace where they don't want to start their own private practice. They don't want to be on call all the time, but they also feel like working for someone else. They're not being the midwife they've wanted to be. And so that's why I love what I do as a consultant with Midwifery Business Consultation is I help inspire midwives to create those amazing niche services that meet their personal needs and their passion and love of why they became a midwife. But maybe there's just not a practice like that or a business like that existing. Um, I help midwives not just with the traditional birth center home birth um, practices. We help with women's health clinics. We help with hospital practices. We help with um, billing services, lactation agencies, um, locum agencies, like we help with so many new businesses, midwives helping out the midwives. There are so many amazing niche services out there. There's a lot of midwives starting postpartum practices, um, niche services, perimenopausal services, sexual health. I mean, I could go on and on and on. So I want everybody to just think about over the holidays, starting 2022, you, these new year, why did you become a midwife? Why are you pursuing midwifery? What about it you love? And what about it you don't love? What can you control? What can you not control? And I just want you to step back and say, I am this type of midwife for X, Y, Z reason, and I am happy being this type of midwife, or you know what? I didn't envision to be this type of midwife based on my personality, based on my life experiences, based on where I want to go. How do you step back and change that? And it is possible. It's possible for anyone. And I try to inspire midwives, birth professionals, healthcare professionals to just step back and say, we do have choices. We have options. You can start a business. You can move. You can quit and find another job, there are always choices to be the midwife you want to be. So my challenge to everybody over the holiday season is just to step back and think, why did you become a midwife? Are you being that midwife you know you can be? And if not, what are you going to do about it? Have a great holidays.